Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Fiend Folio. Fiend Folio. Let's jump in to another run and randomize. We get regular old Lazarus this time around. He's a good bit of fun. Going on the uh, the old throw yourself into death constantly sort of run. I like it. We'll check our pill. Speed up off the bat is awesome. Ooh, also Champion Sloth off the bat is kind of interesting. I think Champion Sloth, this one at least, is pretty tough, as you can see. Uh, he has the, like, monstrous lung type attack, but he also has just an insane amount of spiders with him. Um, I'm not sure if this guy is, like, specific to Seller, but it is interesting that he's shown up on Seller. I'm not, I'm not sure how the, um, oh my god. I'm not sure how the Champion's uh, sins work. I'm not sure if they only show up on specific flaws, or if it is just completely random when you run into one of the sins that it'll be a Champion. Ooh, and he gives Spider Bite as well. That's awesome. I didn't expect for some reason that they drop unique items, um, but that's really cool that they do. Anyways, we'll keep moving forward. Ooh, this is a slightly, slightly tricky room here. We've got to get the first shot on. Oh, because I slowed the other one. I didn't realize the shot timer on the second one would be quite so different. Anyways, as for the question of the day today, what is the latest restaurant you went to? And if, it, if you haven't been to one recently, what is the next one you're planning to go to? Because I'm planning to go to Nando's today, and I'm excited. Me and my um, me and my friend uh, have a, a standing Nando's date. <laughs> because um, I used to work, I think I've told people before, uh, some, some of you may not know this, but I used to work at a university, um, and when I worked there, it's quite close to where I live, um, when I, when I worked there, me and my friend were always in at the same time uh, on Tuesdays. Was it Tuesdays or was it Wednesdays? I think it was Wednesdays, actually. Um, he's he's an editor, so he'd get like kind of left behind while everyone else went and did um, filming because he worked with my girlfriend. Um, and then I was always in the office, anyways. One heart to a burn heart. Eh. I still. <sighs> I don't really see the reasoning behind this item. I've always found it a bit of an item that's like eh. But I guess for a sacrifice room, it could be kind of useful. But if we're going to be killing ourselves a lot anyways, then maybe not. I, I, I guess I'll see. Burn hearts are objectively better, so there is that. Um, So we might be able to get some more. Ooh, that guy double shots. Did not know that. Might be able to get some more out of it. But yeah, ever since then, we used to like, because we were the only two left in the office, we used to go to uh, Nando's. Ooh, damn. And then recently, um, over the past, like, about, about six months ago now, to be honest, maybe a bit longer, he got a new job and uh, I stopped working at the university, like, ages ago, like two years ago now. So we hadn't really been doing our little Nando's dates for a while. So we've, we've, we've recently rebooted it. We've come back to it. Um, Lots of pills today. Lots of pills. Friends till the end. Um, the ladder would be quite nice. I'd like to get the ladder, if we can. Right. I suppose one really good thing about this active that I haven't really considered before is burn hearts don't take away your devil, devil deal chance, do they? So, you have a better chance of getting a devil deal if you... Ooh, damn. Okay. We, we don't care if we die here, by the way. That's why I'm not, like, using my active or... He or trying to find a way to get any healing or anything like that because if we die like we legitimately don't care uh, as long as we don't die twice this is a particularly difficult boss and i i will definitely die at least once in this fight um because you got these red flies but also those flies that spawned when he started are pretty tricky and of course duca flies without bombs is just generally kind of a toughie anyways he's one of those bosses that he can just stay alive so long because he's just got that nice protective shield. But yeah, so I've decided that today is the day. We, we normally, it's, it's Wednesday today and we normally go on Wednesday. So I've put some time aside on my lunch hour. I don't really have a, uh, with my job, I don't really have a specific time to have lunch. I don't like I have a lunch break because I work from home and stuff. So um, yeah, I don't really have any specific times that I need to sort of go on lunch. But I, I tend to try and not take the piss and not take over an hour. <laughs> so I'm, I'm kind of using that as my quote-unquote lunch hour okay let's uh kill ourselves on one of these just get that permanent stat up and we'll see what we get here we did lose some damage uh in fact pretty much all of that was terrible we lost oh this was this was majorly bad we lost health 
we lost damage and we didn't gain fire rate. That that was all round pretty awful. Yeah, that was that was pretty pretty shocking. Uh, I'm just seeing if there's any which way we can find our way into getting a couple of extra pennies on this floor. Damn. I don't think there is. Nah, it doesn't look like it. Oh well. Oh well. Right, um, we can go down to the next floor now. Yeah, we should go to the regular floor here. Yeah, that experimental treatment, it gave us some good stats, but it did a lot of bad stuff to us, really. I was really hoping to just gain fire rate out of it. And it essentially means that that death we took last didn't really give us any stats. Because the damage, we lost the damage. But we do get to get in here, which is quite nice. We got creatine powder. Let's just use that and burn heart up. Why not? But getting creatine powder there is insanely good. Creatine powder is probably one of the best boss room items you can possibly get. It's from the Ipecac mod, I believe. Um, it's, it's really heckin' good because it's a damage multiplier. Again, we don't really give a shit if we die here, so I'm not super stressing. I mean, I'd rather not, but... I'm not super stressing if we do. Oh, we have another boss remaining. Yeah, I kind of forgot about that fact. It's because that was two bosses at once. I'm trying to utilize my creep here to do a bit of damage. I know it's not, like, super important that we use creep to do damage here, but... Every little bit of extra helps, I guess. But yeah, it's just like a good time for me and my friend to catch up. <laughs> because we don't really get to now that we don't work together. Um, we get ourselves some money and that. We do have enough money for our shop now. Which is a little bit of a shame that we get it after the fact that we needed it. But still useful. And yeah, with creatine powder now, I'm not so displeased about my damage. Bloody Penny's pretty damn awesome for us here. I'm going to try and take out the big boys before anything. Because they spawn stuff. Do you got to remember that the um, these dudes spawn fires. Yeah, taking taking care of the big guys first is by far the most important thing against those enemies. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. I really shouldn't have grabbed that. I kind of reactionarily went, "Ooh, a soul heart! I need that!" And then I picked it up and was like, mm, "Did I? Not really." Continuum's pretty good here. I like Continuum. It's not so good with the range we currently have. Actually, it, no, it's decent. It's decent. I'd say once you get over, like, 15 range, you get to the point where it's really good. But, oh, we got a secret room out of that. Very nice. Wasn't expecting that. Um, and we... Okay. What's the point in a red bomb that you have to bomb to get? <laughs> That's just bombing with extra steps. Um, but d d d d d sadly, not really a shop that I care about. But it does at least remove um, Mom's bottle of pills from our pool. I guess I'll grab this card. I might, I might make use of it on a blood donation machine or something at some point. We do have an arcade, so that is actually more than up for grabs. Question is, are we going to kill ourselves this floor? I think we probably should, and then buy the soul heart. Hey, we got our bomb that we need for that chest. Damn. Okay, um, wasn't really what I was looking for. Hmm. I'll play you down to five cent. Oh, that gives us our secret room. That's pretty nice. Holy. Was not expecting that. Okay, that's, that's, that's pretty good. Um, now we got to think about what we want. Do we want to just go for a really good run here? I want to I want to go for a tier modifier, and I want to go for one that's going to be interesting. The question is, do I want to go for one that's modded? That's the, that's the big question. We're probably going to be here a little bit of time. We could go for like a brimstone run. What else we got in this room? We got Ipecac, brimstone. Eh, there's nothing there that I'm super, super hyped about. Um, Some curse pennies here. We got Sacred Heart there, of course. That's always a good one. Uh, Epic Fetus or Doctor Fetus would be pretty interesting. Um, compound Fracture is always fun. I don't I, like Sacred Heart's like the obvious choice, but I don't just want to take Sacred Heart, you know. Like if if we can't decide, then I will come back to it and probably take it. <laughs> but like I don't just want to take it straight away. I think there's other more interesting stuff. Um, I'm trying to think: is there anything that like works really well with Continuum? 
If there's an item in this, we we can't take it. Got to remember that. Um, trying to think of something that would like really bolster continue and make it really really good. Got a bunch of. That's another thing as well. We could take an active if we wanted to, like a really good active item. Um, nothing I'm seeing so far is super enticing. I do like this that you get to like see all the resprites that we're using. We got Godhead there as well. Godhead's kind of interesting. Soy milk is kind of fun. Um, some more actives here. Got a D4 there. That's kind of interesting. Somewhat speaks to me, to be honest. Um, we could take like the Eucharist. Um, we could take like Jacob's, uh, not Jacob's ladder. Um, the other ladder, the one that gives you the angel aims. What? Why can't I remember what that's called now? Stairway. Um, that could be that could be pretty damn good. Honestly, death certificate is such a difficult decision now. We could also take some tainted items, actually. Um, I, it is kind of difficult that you can't really check what some of them do. Um, trinket Smasher. Destroy all items in the room, give a user 10% chance to deal damage. Interesting. Uh, we got... Each time an enemy fires a projectile, it's a one-fifth chance to change to reverse direction and become homing. One damage up each time an enemy dies, rapidly fades. We got that, we got that. Um, tears have a chance to inflict with repulsion. Devil's Tail. Um, plus one damage up. Um, picking up a red heart, a chance to heal for bonus half red heart. Spawns one Teratoma, eh. They're all interesting, but not really what we're looking for. We found some of the modded items. Let's go, I, I, I know that we're gonna be here a little while. I'm not really that worried about that right now. Um, I'm sure you guys don't mind me being a bit picky and choosy. I just don't want to take, like, the basic bitch death certificate options. I feel like there's so much possibility with this that we, we don't we don't just want to take the first thing we see. Is that Lemon Mishap again? I swear we've seen Lemon Mishap before already. So there's... There's Dr. Fetus. If we, if we would want Dr. Fetus... Mum's knife is something I haven't done in a while. Parasite's always fun. I kind of want to take a tainted treasure item. Because, like, tainted treasure items normally come with the caveat that you have to have the other one. But we don't have to have the other one anymore. So I feel like that could be quite fun. Also, I think grabbing this is a good idea. We'll take that along with us. Got a good amount of um, items in here. Fire dagger alongside your tears. Enemies, when killed, drop gems that can power up your dagger. That's really interesting. We've also got the uh, axe, which is pretty fun. Got some of the planetarium items in here, which are pretty awesome. Got a button in here, which I don't want to press. Uh, we've got a, thing, a bunch of things in here that are just plus 10. Don't really know what they're about. Okay, here's a bunch of Ipecac items. So we could take another creatine powder. That'd be kind of funny. Um, trying to think if there's any Ipecac items that are, like, really insane. Not off the top of my head, there's not. Hey, it's me. <laughs> that seems so self-centered. Get, um... <laughs> I kind of want to do that. Get death certificate and just take the item that is me. <laughs> Oh, God. Um, we got the Veil of Darkness here. Veil of Darkness is kind of good. We've also got the Cursed Flame, which is pretty awesome. Otherwise, nothing super insane there. The Soul Heart. Okay, the, these are the ones I was looking for. Okay, let's take a look at some of these out, shall we? So the Reaper, after firing for three seconds, release um, a barrage of white fires. Uh, we're looking for quality three or higher, really. Uh, tears and bombs will be connected to you with a beam of electricity. Uh, electricity deals 33% of your damage. Interesting. The Leviathan, lowers all stats when first picked up. When entering an uncleared room, there is a chance to spawn a poop or yellow creep. After this happens enough times, the all stats down is replaced by a greater all stats up. Interesting. 
Recursive Tears. Uh, grants a swordfish familiar that can skewer enemies and launch them uh, away. Launch to enemies, deal damage to other enemies. That seems kind of cool. Um, plus damage, um, speed and shot speed, tears down. Tears are surrounded by a static aura that causes enemies within it to glow white. Once they glow enough, they are struck by a beam of light. That seems pretty cool. Uh, Little Slugger, we got that one as well. Um, you fire piercing saw blades that deal repeated damage as they pass through enemies. Saw blades will revolve around obstacles and walls that they hit. Passively fire tears around yourself, which scales with your damage and tears. Killed enemies will temporarily increase the rate. Let's let's try let's try this. This seems interesting. This is the um, the Godhead like equivalent tainted item. Someone said that uh, last episode they wanted me to try that, so I think it's a good idea to. We've also come out of that with just an insane amount of items and money. Uh, sorry, not items, but like consumables and money. Bread to my shop. Um, I still need to kill myself this floor. By the way, our character's looking awesome. Let's go back and do our cash room, shall we? I want to buy the soul heart in the shop. Hey, that's pretty cool. I like that. Take that. Take that. So we don't really care about losing that soul heart. Play this guy out a little more and see what we get. That's the boss teleport. Don't really know what it means when they hold up a car. We get mapping there as well. Kind of want to use these early on in the floor rather than late. Also, we can use this thing to reroll the rocks. If you can do it multiple times, it's supposed to be a good idea to. Yeah. Kind of an interesting idea. I can see forever. I, d I don't know if these can pay out with items, so I'm kind of trying to see if they will. I need to leave myself at least five cents. There's some soul hearts. Okay, this is going well so far. The card reading just keeps changing. <laughs> Stop doing that, dude. He just keeps changing it over and over again. Yeah, I've never seen one of these guys pay out with an item, so I'm really intrigued to see if they can. So far, they're just giving me card readings. Oh. He used my moon card for me. Thank you. God damn, I love how our character looks right now. Right. God damn card readings. The last two cent here. Unfortunately, no payout. So I think we kill ourselves here. Get our stats. Turn that into a burn heart, because why not? Ooh! When turning it into a burn heart, we can change the order of where it occurs. That's kind of interesting to note. That's, that's really interesting, actually. Oh, this item's good. <laughs> this item's real good. Hey, HP there's fantastic. I'm going to stick with Angel Deal because I don't want to be trading HP away. Imagine if we actually get Godhead now. That's going to be hilarious. I really like this item. The very, very, uh, like, cool way to represent... The dogma version of Godhead. I like it. I like the visual effect on the enemies as well, where it makes them kind of whiter and whiter and whiter until they get hit. And it does, like, considerable damage, too. It's like, it seems to be more than Holy Light would regularly do. And the aura is pretty significantly bigger than um, the aura that you would find on Godhead, I'm pretty sure. I love this. This is really cool. We'll take this. Why not? You've got a golden penny out of it. Definitely worth. That's, this is really cool. I'm very glad I took this item now. This might be a, a regular item that I take when getting a death certificate. Gotta love death certificate. 
such a fun item. Just allows you to, to craft a run. I, I tend to find it's better if you get it later in a run. Because you, you tend to need it less later in a run. But it, it allows you to inform your decision based on the items you already have to try and craft a fun synergy. Which is my, my ultimate goal with it, really. Um, but getting it early does mean you can start off with something really interesting. Like this. And especially, I think the Tainted Treasure Room items are perfect. Also, this is a fantastic item for us to grab here. We can now pop our tears for extra damage. We do need more fire rate to make it, like, really good. Like, the more tears on screen, the better it's going to be. I think we'll have to keep poisoning ourselves here. Oh, no, it's not poison. It's just the tears he's firing. I, I, I'm going to take some damage to this guy, but again, we're playing as Lazarus, so as long as we get some soul hearts on the floor, we don't really care if we die each floor. This guy's kind of tanky, though. But we got him. Big old fart. But yeah, really, really good planetarium item to get there. Allows us to detonate our tears, essentially. I really like the, the sound effect that we've got going on here, too. But yeah, we can fire over here and then go boom, and it'll do like a little crack effect. Which right now, as I said, isn't very good. But once we get like higher shot speed and higher tiers, it's going to really make an impact. So we leave that soul heart on the floor there. I really like the way that uh, I, I basically I expected with this effect, you'd have to you'd have to hit them with enough of the aura in one tier. It wouldn't stack over multiple tiers. The fact that it stacks over multiple tiers is really really good, really strong. Holy shit, this run is coming together. This run is coming together. Um, we're going to go one. I really should have done that opposite to how I just did it. Two. Three. Four. Five. Uh, I'll, I'll crack this just in case. Six and seven. We've got Nun's Habit at least. Not very good right now, but could be good in the future. Grab that. Come grab Magic Mush. I haven't seen Magic Mush in an item room in so long. Now this this I gotta say that should make our aura bigger, right? And I think it did. Ooh, also, we now have really high range. Which means that um, Continuum's really good. I think the only thing we need now to really make this actually insane is piercing. If we could get piercing on top of this, it's gonna be it's gonna be nutty. Because we've already got range where we can basically go across an entire room. We can loop most most rooms here. And because the aura pretty much covers the entire room. Oh, this is special. We have created something quite wonderful here. Forgot this was an XL floor as well. Oh my lord. <laughs> okay then. We are getting some pretty nutty items here. We have gained some crazy stuff. God damn, our character looks absolutely cursed as well. Okay, through we go. We're looking for the shop now. Oh damn, that guy got broken into the uh, red version. Ow. Oh, my shops are so bad. I'm gonna... Oh, God. I was like, I'm gonna D6 this. I'm that annoyed. I, could, I should have saved it for my angel deal, but I was like, no, no, no. That annoyed, and it still gave me a crap item. I see you there. Yeah, little little scanner is uh, unfortunately big fat doo doo in my opinion. He he needs a serious rework. He's very very difficult to use effectively, and even when you get do use him, he doesn't do much. Oh look at that! Just covering the entire screen. Oh, we are getting good health here. That's very nice. Right, blow that up. 
crack that open. Hey, we got both of our bombs and a key back. We literally gained nothing from doing that. Thanks, game. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Got damn squeezy as well, hell yeah. Oh my god. And foul go. Holy. What we got here? On pickup grants a random wisp. Whenever this wisp is destroyed, grants another one. See, now I wish, I wish I'd have had my D6 for this. I think this is a good enough item though. I'll take this. But that would have been a perfect D6 opportunity right there. We've got really good tiers now as well, which is awesome. Down to the next floor. Also, XL floors are kind of bad for this character because we can't kill ourselves as much. Which is sad. Very sad. Bomb chests. Let's move this one. Eh. Eh. Good. Just to all that to save one bomb. Ooh, the crack D20 is insane. It's very cracked. Every time a pickup drops, it has a chance to be D20'd into something else. Which means you can get some really wacky pickups. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Get spewed upon, fella. I, I don't even know how the best way to kill ourselves on this floor. Golden bomb's nice. Ow. We need to make sure there's like health on the floor because we don't need to kill ourselves anymore. So we do need to make sure there's, there's soul hearts on the floor. There's a Dominic there, I see you. Right. Across the entire room here. Justice. 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 Oh, I didn't see what the card is. Oh, it doesn't matter. I don't want the card anyways. Hey, we got whatever this is. When dead, respawn as fiend. I guess. <laughs> I didn't realize that was an item that existed. Luda. Mmm. <laughs> this is a tricky one. Because we have really bad shot speed, which makes Luda fucking awful. And it ruins conti no, it ruins continuum as well. I'm just going to take this. I realize that's a that's a pussy way to do it, but we have such low shot speed, it would make Luda quite awful. It would make Luda quite awful indeed. I wish I had the ladder so I could play that chest. God damn, that character looks so... I really like the fact that we've got like... A big eye in the middle, two eyes on either side, and then two wisp eyes on top of that. It just looks so stupid, but it also kind of looks great. There's a secret room. We do get a morbid heart there, which is probably something to leave for after. Makes all shops free, I'll just take that. Hey, see, that's why you open these bad boys. My mod coming in clutch. Getting updated soon to include Fiendfolio items, by the way, as well. I'm going to do that at some point. Right. Hmm. 
need to find a good place to kill myself. I don't even know if I want to yet. I think I do. Those little spewer things are so cool. Okay, we broke our donation machine coming in here. This one costs a heart for some reason. The, the, these ain't free, my boy. That's not what free means. I don't know why they cost a heart. Right, um... Let's find a good place to kill ourselves. Trying to think of what would be the best thing to do it on. They're not like a fire or something about. Thought there'd be something about to kill myself on. I mean, I can use the curse door if I need. I guess I'm gonna have to. Didn't need to pick up that red heart. The black heart there as well. Good, good. Okay. I mean, I guess I could just bomb myself. My character got cat ears now. What happened there? Damn it, I keep bombing a little bit too early. Still got iframes. Ah! Oh. Excuse I'm annoyed. I'm very annoyed. I came back as Fiend. I had a Lazarus respawn. Why did that not take priority? That has very much annoyed me. That is not how that is meant to work. At all. Anger and confusion. Anger and confusion. I was not meant to come back as the fiend here. I'm going to be really annoyed if we die on this run now because of that. Hey, her. It is what it is, I guess. We do at least have mismatched health. Which means we can't die super quick. Oh, hello, you. He died pretty quick. Oh, I love his death animation. It's amazing. Devil deal again? No, thank you. Um, can Fiend only get devil deals? Maybe that's a thing. I'll check it. Why not? There's Eye of the Occult there. Which seems interesting. Excuse me? It gives us range, so I wanted it. <laughs> Although this is very risky, because I only have black hearts now. I'm also fiend without my... Uh... Oh no, I still have my fireballs, good. I was, I was going to say I'm fiend without my fireballs, which is terrible. Because now I can't generate health. Ares? Why is the Ares in a golden chest? That's confusing. I mean, I'll take it, but I'm confused about why it's there. Very confused indeed. Honestly, I the occult's really good with this setup. I definitely think I'm going to die now because I'm the fiend. I'm hoping the, um... Cracked D20 gives me some support. I think that it could genuinely help a lot if we get some good rerolls. I 
mean, we're killing stuff insanely quick, which is good. I don't have to worry too much about that. Speed up. We have so much speed right now, it's insane. Mega battery. We are playing as Fiend and not having anything in our, um, in our thingy slot. Our pocket item slot. Oh, hello. Didn't see you there. Why are these costing heart? This is bullshit. Shouldn't be costing HP. Right, back to our item room, wherever that might be. It's annoying as well, because now my active is completely useless. I was actually starting to like the active and finding a good use case for it. And now it's like, no, no, no. Is this, uh, this, this is thingy hand, isn't it? Stone hand. No, 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 it's normal hands, okay. Quite a lot of them, though, isn't it? Yeah. I haven't really been using my uh, thingy ability much, my Explode Tears ability. But it's just that it's not as applicable anymore. <laughs> Ooh, this is good. We can get some free familiars. There's uh, Robo Baby 3.0. I said free. There's Pet Rock. Hell yeah. And there's Paperfly. Not bad. They're pretty rare, the machines, but they are pretty damn good. Really? My, I, I didn't spawn any hearts then, or at least didn't get any. Ooh, hello. Pretty damn useful as well. Okay, let's vamoosh. This room looks so cool. Let's absolutely vamoosh. Just spicy keys. No, thank you. Beautiful. Um, we haven't done Light Path as this fella yet, so let's do that. These little things are a bit weird. Oh, we can. It works on grimaces for some reason too. Okay then. Ooh, another fiend heart. And a D6. We get a devil deal that might be useful. Oh my god, please rework these enemies. <laughs> Those little monstro things that just zip them to the sky and telefrag you are just. Ugh. They need to go. Oh my god, I love the sounds <laughs> that have been produced by this. The Crack D20 doesn't seem to have done much for us so far. I think it gave us a chest. Hey, we found a boss straight away here. That's some good shit. Ooh, these guys are interesting. They're going to die before they get to be interesting, but they are interesting. We get Bar of Soap here by the looks of it. And then... Guppy's soul or something? I don't know what the other one is. I'm, I'm not going to take those. I have no idea what they are. That seems dangerous. Seems like a dangerous game I'd be playing there. Okay, Curse so of Rebirth here, so... can be a little tricky, but... Our aura should kill all. I, I absolutely love the... Oh, there's a, there was a spike there. I absolutely love the fact that we have uh, Eye of the Occult now. So good just being able to, like, change the direction of our auras and hover them over enemies. And then, like this, where they just sit in the air. Okay, 
slightly the wrong way here, sadly. No matter, no matter. Definitely grab that. We definitely need some more mismatching on our HP right now, because we're still, like, three hits away from death right now. I mean, not that we're getting hit a lot, but a lot can go wrong very quickly. There is a lot of bosses and rooms and even enemies that I still don't fully understand. I love that. When they're doing the death animation, you can just keep hitting them. Ooh, okay, Nurse Goblin is 100% is a must here. Right, go back in here. Definitely grab that. The Crack D20, you've... You're, you're definitely good, but this could be so much better. Especially considering the insane herming that we get given. Double keys for this. Boom, bow, boom, bow. Spawn a void blood machine. I don't know what that does, but I don't have blood right now, so sorry. Right, let's see how this goes. Should be pretty smooth. It was. And we are going up. Let's go. I'm happy that so far we haven't been hit once since we became the Fiend. That is something that I had not expected. I'm very pleased about though. Try and keep that up. We get to listen to the absolutely rocking tunes of this floor. Absolutely rocking tunes. Uh, the no trinket would be kind of good, but honestly, we cannot throw away Nose Goblin right now. It's too good. Excuse me, the item chest gave me a troll bomb. I'm determined that it's this way. <laughs> it's not. Damn it. I was so convinced it was. Normally when you go straight into a big room, it's always like the hub to get to the rest of the areas. And it's always like leading the right way on one of the paths. Sadly, this time I was very incorrect. We got a library here. Interesting. We do actually get an active here. Ooh, I think we go with this. And then I think we pair it with this. Although, I'm not sure. Yeah. We could D6 the rest of those, but eh. We'll only get more books. Do not like a brimstone ghost here. Beautiful. Absolutely destroying enemies here. Oh, we got you. Give me an angel deal this time. For once. You did. I don't know how that's going to work. I'm going to try it. It still works with the aura. That's all I care about. It gives us piercing too, which is why I wanted to grab it. Piercing with this was the one thing that we were waiting for. I and mean, it was already insanely good without it, but... The one thing that could top the charts, so to say. And also, this is really good with our trinket. Like, really, really good with our trinket. Almost one cycles. Beautiful. Very nearly one cycle there. That would have been pretty fantastic. Pretty pretty bad items here. Um I think I think I want to just reroll all of these. Eh. Also pretty bad items. And all actives too. It's just offensive. We don't need to save our active, but I'm going to kind of save it for uh, 
situations where I feel it's not more necessary. We should pick this up just because it gives us a burn heart, the uh, active in the last room. I don't know what a burn heart equates to as this character. Nothing. <laughs> just burn shards around us, apparently. Ooh, I do not like this room. Um... Okay, good. That wasn't so bad, actually. Hey, we found the boss already. Damn. Okay, I guess we're gonna go slap the boss. Very much slaps. There you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this absolutely amazing run. A very fun one indeed. I'll see you guys in the next one.